1950s America is considered by some to have been a golden age. Of course, this depends upon your perspective and circumstances at the time. Additionally, the past is often seen through a rosy, nostalgic glow, and the reality may have been very different. Today though, we are going to concentrate on the fun and positive aspects of 1950s America. Firstly, this decade saw the birth of rock and roll. The term was first coined by Cleveland DJ Alan Freed, and the new sound swept the nation. The new music celebrated themes like love and freedom from oppression. For the first time, the music was marketed to the youth of America. Rockabilly usually, but not exclusively, refers to the type of rock and roll music which was played and recorded in the mid-1950s, who drew mainly from the country roots of the music. While Elvis is known as the king of rock and roll, another great pioneer of rock and roll is Chuck Berry, known as the father of rock and roll. He refined and developed rhythm and blues into the major elements that made rock and roll distinctive. Other notable artists include Sam Cooke, Fats Domino and Buddy Holly. On April 12, 1954, Bill Haley and his Comets recorded Rock Around the Clock, Although only a minor hit when it was first released, the song became one of the biggest hits in history. If everything that came before laid the groundwork, Rock Around the Clock introduced the music to a global audience. On February 3rd, 1959, American musicians Buddy Holly, Richie Valens and J.P. Richardson died in a plane crash over Clear Lake, Iowa, in what became known as The Day the Music Died an event immortalised in Don McLean's 1972 song, American Pie. By 1955, about half of all American homes had a television. The golden age of television was marked by family-friendly shows like I Love Lucy, The Honeymooners, The Twilight Zone and Leave it to Beaver. In 1954, the first Miss America was broadcast to the entire country on live television from the Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. In 1953, the company C.A. Swanson & Sons produced the first packaged frozen TV dinner. It was very much a status symbol to have a television set in the 1950s and the family would all sit around the television and eat their TV dinners. In movie theatres, actors like John Wayne, James Stewart, Charlton Heston, Grace Kelly, Jerry Lewis, Dean Martin, Elizabeth Taylor and Marilyn Monroe dominated the box office. The abstract expressionism of Jackson Pollock and Willem de Kooning signalled a new age in art. Although McDonald's fast food hamburger chain had its roots in the 1940s, the McDonald's franchise under Ray Kroc credits 15th of April 1955 as its founding date. The first burgers were sold for just 15 cents each. Yes, that's 15, one five cents. <laughs> Disneyland opened in Anaheim, California on the 17th of July, 1955. It was the start of a theme park empire that eventually spread to multiple locations around the world. Alaska and Hawaii became the 49th and 50th states respectively in 1959. In the 50s, the Beagle took over as America's most popular dog the Beagle reigned as number one from 1953 to 1959. Snoopy, Charles Schultz's pet Beagle, made his illustrious first appearance in national newspapers on October 4th, 1950. Do you remember the 1950s? If so, please let us know your favourite memory in the comments section below. And if not, why not tell us your favourite pop icon from the era anyway? Or your favourite movie? Or your favourite TV show? We'd love to hear! Thank you so much for watching, bye for now! Bye!